Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Ice Caverns. What are those levels called? Just Ice Cavern. Hey, I did it! High five, uh, Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? For just a heartbeat there, I thought that was going to be like my dad or something, because I thought he was purple too. I didn't incinerate those guys either. Wait, I need to incinerate one of those guys. No! Sorry, Sparks. I forgot you weren't just cold. Yeah, you're looking much better. Okay, maybe I did imagine it then. Wait, why here? What's here? What was at the back then? There was a back. Oh! Have I been in here before? I've... I don't see any gems, so probably, but, uh... Hmm... Am I missing anything else? Oh, okay. No. Uh -oh. Embarrassing. But for the time being, I guess I'll just. Oh, how in the fuck? Oh no! I walked right off the edge. How embarrassing. Well, that's actually more lives than I thought I had, so I don't know whether or not I lost one. Huh? Okay, how do I get back over there? Oh! Look at that! Oh! Have I found a chest like that yet? No! Man. Bummer! Okay, okay, now I know. But, um... How do I get up there? I guess I'll head up to that other bit on the map. Thank you for blessing my butt. Did I not murder you? No, I did murder him. He dropped an orb. Fuck! Oh. Fuck! Aha! This one I can get to. Ah, I see. I have to get to the chest before I can get the key here. Oh. I 
I don't think, you know, the chest will have enough in it to finish things off, but we'll be close. issue I've been seeing in the uh, recordings for a while. It's very frustrating to see a big skip out of nowhere when uh, nothing happened during the recording. Just once I looked at it. Oh god, no! Don't mind me, I'm just looking around. I don't know, you can see that from here. I don't see any sparkles from a distance, so either they're, you know, again, not visible from here, also always a possibility, I should say. Uh, or... Or they, uh... Are inside of enemies I haven't killed yet. Just a window, I don't think there's anything I can do from there. Hang on a second. Rat. Those guys drop lives, not gems, but okay, and now I know how to get there. Uh, no, not that. Actually, you know what? Maybe it'll be faster if I just do this, since I go right back to the door. Oh. It didn't do, like, the loop or anything. Oh, right, because I was coming out. He does the fancy loop as he's landing, usually. Well, I've got more than enough gems to uh, get to the other area. I'm going to keep looking around this one for a while. Uh, peacekeepers, in general, I mean. I'm almost done in the ice cavern, so it would be weird if I stayed there for a while. Nice Aurora Borealis, though. Ah, oh, and all the enemies ever set. Oh, well. I mean, the orbs make it worth it, you know. To fight them, I mean. Ah! You fucker. It's a good thing these guys are dumb as shit, because I feel like they'd be having existential crises about the fact that they were money, like, yesterday. Imagine knowing for a fact you're not actually a person, you're just a construct. 
made so some guy can take over the world. I didn't mean to get them both, but they'll be back. I think the last time I played a game with limited lives, it was... Psychonauts. for the record, uh, seven years after this one. Ow. I mean, you point to me and laugh, but which one of us had charbroiled genitals before he died? Mind you, given this game, let's call it the Chef's Special. Bats have hair, which is weird. Well, I mean, they have hairs, it's just, you know, fur, as opposed to hair. You know what I mean. Well, okay, I have no idea where I meant to be going, so I'll just head back to the exit. Maybe there. Like that door right there on the wall. No! It was painted on! Drat! All those orbs. I'll just go around like a peasant. Oh, fuck me! They've been right here! <laughs> Climb back up. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going in this direction. Yeah, there it is. I can see it from here. Which means... There, I think. No, that's the one I came from, isn't it? With the, 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 all the one-ups on it. I guess I was starting over there. Around the corner. Let's go get warmed up. I mean, I prefer the cold myself, but, you know... those gems change color or something. Oh, I've got a tidbit for you. It's about the first game and the second one, so it's valid uh, to tell you guys here. Uh, basically, the only thing I know about the second game in this series is that the villain is a guy named Ripto. I don't know who he is, what he is, or anything about him, but, you know, it's a fairly... I'm just saying, I figure most of you assumed that from the fact that the sequel is called Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Well, there's a reason for that. Okay, here's the box art for the original release of this game, at least as it looked in North America. You know, they show off their hero, they tell you Spyro the Dragon, 
And you can see Nasty Nork in the background, you know. Nice and simple. And here we have the box art for the same game's release in Japan. It's brighter, more colorful. I do note that, uh, you know, video game marketing in Japan tends to skew a bit cheerier than it does in North America, especially back in the day. But the reason I'm showing this to you is because, well, the, the, uh, the developers looked at this uh, box art and they decided that these characters looked like the English letters that would spell out RIPTO. So it became a sort of in-joke in the Insomniac offices to refer to their protagonist as Ripto the Dragon, and apparently it is from this joke that they decided to actually name the bad guy in the sequel Ripto. So there you have it. And now we know. I'm gonna burn that guy. Oh, no you don't. Well, first, let's do this. I'm not actually gonna go, I'm just... I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure! I mean, I only had like a hundred left to go, so... Hop aboard for the Magic Crafter's World if you're ready! I wonder if they did that in the original. The mooning thing, I mean. Nasty Nork got his hands on all of the dragon's treasure so quickly. Okay, not tar. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Kind of surprised they didn't make the uh, the gems themselves the way you heal. Well, you know, you, you could easily make a joke there about how uh, dragons love treasure so much it, you know, it's the cure for what ails them. Ah. Uh. Oh! Pretty sure my front feet weren't on the ground. How do I get... Mm. Oh! Oh! Right, first I do this, then I go find some beauties. Nice! Oh, hey! Ugh. A gruesome death. But that was just a dream. Where am I? Here. Okay.
Ah, chaos. Oh. Alright, just checking. Guess it's solidly made. It is closer on that side. Ah, oh, come on! I need more orbs. Alright, I'm gonna charbroil all these guys, and then I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited! When we head off to Clifftown, I guess. Later.